Thank you so much for joining us on The Compassionate Couch. My name is Majda Adjela Nguera. Today we're going to be talking about self-confidence. The one thing that I love about self-confidence is that it has three main structures or three basic units that we need to understand for us to be able to build this self-confidence within ourselves. So before we start explaining how to build this self-confidence, let's try to delve into self-confidence itself and find out what it is and how we can build this thing. So the first thing that I love about self-confidence is the fact that you need to have optimism. Where the second thing that you need to have is you need to surround yourself with people who are positive minded. And the third thing that you need is the principle of auto-suggestion. And I'll explain what the principle of auto-suggestion is just now. So let's break down these basic uh, basic units of thought or thought processes that we have in self-confidence. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to have the ability to achieve the object of our purpose in life. So this object, remember we talked about the definite chief aim or the definite purpose that we need to have. So through continuous action or of these things that you want to do, through continuous action towards the attainment of these goals, that's when we can what? We can achieve this. So the second thing that you need to do is to understand that dominating thoughts in my mind will eventually reproduce themselves outwardly. You remember you are what you think and what you think is what you are. So the next thing that you need to remember when you, are, you remember this is that the physical action that you put towards this attainment of these goals will help you to create a more confident person. Um, and the th next thing that we need to talk about is auto-suggestion. So let's just try to break down what auto-suggestion is. It sounds like a very big word, but let's break it down. So basically, auto-suggestion basically means that you're persistently thinking about that one thing. So persistent thought or persistently thinking about this thing means that when you have something that you want. Let's say I want to buy a packet of chips, but it's going for $3. So if I constantly think about this packet of chips that goes for um, the assumed $3, it means that I would try to find ways of making this possible. So if the more you think about something, the easier it is for you to be then able to attain this goal. So that is the principle of auto-suggestion, where any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually um, be expressed physically. So the one thing that you need to remember is any desire that you persistently hold in your mind will eventually seek expression. So the next thing that we need to remember is this is attained through practical means practical means. So if you constantly think about something, you're now thinking, how do I make this practical? How do I make this um, achievable? How do I bring this into life? That's the next thing that we, we need to do. And then after all of this has been said, remember, this is all happening in your head. This is all happening in your mind. So the next thing that you need to do is to write down your purpose on paper. You are now removing your thought into what? Into reality. So you are removing from the realm of the mind into the realm of the what? Of the eye, where we can see it and we can physically touch your goals. We can physically touch your purpose and we can see it. And the next thing that um, this helps with is it helps you to be able to keep developing your, and you're self-conscious about this, um, this goal that you have and its attainment, right? You want to achieve this goal. And the moment you see it, you don't forget. You know, there are times when you have an idea and you're like, I've thought about this before. Why didn't I do it? But you haven't written it down. Write it down so that you keep building on the idea that you have written down. And remember, you want to constantly put it in your head. So the more you write it down, the more you look at it, the more you're auto-suggesting to your brain, to your head, that I need to be able to do this thing. So how then do you also uh, build your values upon... Um, upon this thing, right, of auto-suggestion. This is built upon truth and justice. And the one verse that came into my mind was um, Proverbs 12, verse 19. This verse reads, 
the lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. So what this just tells me is the moment that you start lying, the moment that you start using fraudulent ideas or fraudulent methods to get to your uh, point, that's when you lose it. That's the moment where you lose your self-confidence. Remember, this is all in a bid to build your self-confidence. So the process of auto-suggestion is helping you build your self-confidence because the more you think about something, the more you mature and the more you realize that this is actually easy, the more you what? The more confident you get. And also one thing that I love that is that Truth and justice are the foundation of all things that you, or all positions that you hold or all positions that you might want to make. So remember that you need to be truthful in each and everything that you do. So right now, I think the next thing that we need to talk about is how to build this confidence. Because remember, we have kids, we have adults, we have different people, right, that we have. And we need to be able to say, let's break it down. Um, because we can talk about auto-suggestion, but how do you then break it down to your kid and you want to improve or to, you want to help your kids reach their full potential? How then do you make um, it easier for you as an adult to also, to also build your confidence? So the next thing that we're going to be talking about is how to build your confidence as, a, as an adult. So you notice that most of the times um, when you're getting older, there are things that you thought you'd be able to do. Uh, maybe you should have bought a house, you should have bought a car, you should have had a job that's giving you money that's enough to pay your rent, but you don't have it. And at times this builds low confidence in you. The next thing that you then do is it brings about depression, it brings about anxiety, panic attacks. And at times you then start wondering, okay, what am I doing wrong? So how then do you build your confidence as an adult, as a young adult, as an, just basically anyone, how do you then build your confidence? So the first thing that I notice is as an adult, we are aware of what our peers all are doing. Um, so and so has this, so and so is doing so well.